Hello, this is the Random Tier List Podcast. We rank things from S to F, and today we are not going to do that. Today we're just going to review Resident Evil 8, or Resident Evil Village. And I just recently beat it, and I'll tell you what, it is a really good game. I am disappointed with a few aspects of it, but it, it, it's whatever. Alright, well, everybody knows who Lady Dimitrescu is. Like, you know, the hot, tall, vampire, goth lady. Yeah, I love her so much. And I'm not gonna, tr- I'm gonna spoil it. I don't freaking care. You have to kill her and it sucks. You, and she's not even that big part of the game. She's like, like, uh, I would say one quarter of the game. It's just her. And then she's done. Then you kill her, then she's dead. And it's a disappointment. But, yeah. This game is the scary in the beginning when you walk down the, like, dark forest. And then you hear all the, like, the lichens running around. It's so freaking scary. I'm not even gonna say. I almost put myself a few times, but it's whatever. And then you would go in the village. The village itself is pretty cool, and I love it. And the graphics are amazing. Like I, I only have an Xbox One because I'm uh, I suck. <laughs> That's all I can say. I suck, and so I only have an Xbox One. And I need, if I got a better graphics card, it would look beyond amazing. It still looked good there. Still looked good, but it could look better. I just need my graphics car, card updated. But, yeah, it was scary. Like, uh, that one scene where you would go in, uh, I think, Benevento or Bien- Benevento. That one, that one lord, whatever her name is, uh, her and Angie. Benevento. Ben- Benevento. One, I don't know. But her, that lord, like, when you would go down the basement and, like, that giant, like, monster fetus baby chases you, that was, like, one of the scariest moments of the game, and it was really well done. <laughs> like, how the baby kills you and says, yummy, as it eats you alive. It, it, it's just lovely. But, yeah. And then, uh, let's see, Moreau. Moreau, I feel bad for him. Nobody likes him. And then he just turns into a giant fish. He's, he was based off a of merman. They did that really good. That, that whole like sequence when you're in the water and he turns into the fish and he tries to eat you and whatever is really cool. And his boss fight was decent. I like it. Uh, Lady Dimitrescu's boss fight. Uh, I was really good. She looked scary. I, lo- I loved the voice acting. She was really well voiced. And just like the, her daughter's. Her daughters could have been like a better boss fight, like the whole 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 the whole daughters could have been a better boss fight, and I think uh yeah Lady Dimitrescu could have been a better boss fight too, and she could have been in the game more and it would have been much better. They just lacked her. That game lacked Lady D- Dimitrescu and she was like such a big thing in the trailers because you know hot, all the guys thirsting over, her. and I wish she was in more of the game. That is my biggest complaint with this game. And Mother Miranda, Mother Miranda, you know, she was a she was a good character. She was a it was a good final boss fight, and it was just enjoyable. Like her 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 uh, presence when she shape shifted into that lady than me in the beginning. That wasn't me in the beginning. And if you don't even know what I'm talking about, so be it. Because nobody nobody listens to this besides maybe Miss Bellino. But yeah, Resident Evil, good game. Like the shooting. I do, the casual mode is actually hard. The casual mode should be hard mode. Then easy mode is just, uh, it's way too easy. Casual mode is way too, it's, it, it should be hard mode. And then casual mode should be, uh, yeah, hard mode. Like I said, then easy mode is just way too easy. Then hard mode, I have not experienced that yet, and I don't want to. I can just imagine, like, when all those, like, you have to go in the lichen layer. It's be freaking scary, like beyond scary. And let's see, Heisenberg. Heisenberg was a good character. I liked him. He he was fun, and his mutation. I I just thought like he had a bunch of metal around him, but he mutated. But 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 uh blah 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 blah. <laughs> I need to stop doing that. But it was a good game. I just, like I said, I just wish there was more Lady Dimitrescu. My biggest complaint. Who else was there? There was Angie. And, like, the lord, the lords, all the lords could have been, like, I wish the game was longer. The game looked excellent, but I wish the game was much, much, much longer. 
Well, I paid sixty dollars for that thing, or actually forty nine fifty because I had a gift card. But I I just wish it was longer. Then Chris Redfield, that part when you uh, play as him, and then you're just overpowered is just insane. I love that part. Then Ethan Winters, the main character that you play as, is he, he's good. His motivation, he, uh, Mother Miranda stole his daughter. Is he? La he's a lacking character. Like, in the last year, Resident Evil Seven, he was. I think he was a better character. But uh, yeah, I miss the Baker family. Which in Resident Evil Seven, where that uh, Marguerite is a giant bug, then Jack is like a psycho killer based on like serial killers and slasher movies. And then, uh, like, uh, their son, I don't know his name, I'm gonna call him Jack Jr., even though it's not Jack Jr., is based off of the Saw game. <sighs> I'm just going off on a rant. I just love that game. I did love it. I, I might play it when I get home tonight from work. But this has been the Random Tearless Podcast, where I rank things from S to F, and I didn't even do that today. <laughs> surprise, surprise. I mean, nobody's going to complain because I don't think anybody listens to this podcast. Maybe Miss Bellino. Hi, Miss Bellino. If you're listening to this, hi, Miss Bellino. I know we don't talk much, but enjoy. <laughs> All right. I hope you guys agree with my list that didn't exist and I didn't do. I just reviewed something today. And I hope you have a good day. Have a good... Bye-bye.